Where is Angola? Angola lies on the west coast of southern Africa and is bathed by the Atlantic Ocean. It covers an area of more than 1,200,000 square kilometers. The country is divided into 18 provinces and its capital is the city of Luanda. It also shares a 4,000 kilometer border with the Republic of Congo, the Democratic Republic of Congo, Zambia and Namibia. The highest geographical point is Mount Moko, standing at 2,620 meters high, situated in the central province of Huambo. Angola owns one of the greatest hydrographical networks in the whole Africa, and its main rivers are the Kwanzaa, Zaire, Kuneni, and Kabanga. The main resources Oil is still the main force of the Angolan economy, besides the production of diamonds, metals, agriculture, and cattle raising. In 2001, the oil production entered a new era with the exploration of deep water wells. With this, the country will increase its production to over one million barrels of oil per day. Nearly 100% of the country's oil production is carried out in high seas. To exploit this resource, Angola acquired technology from foreign countries in England, France, and the USA. Angola's hydroelectric station in the province of Melange was built with Russian and Brazilian technology and has now begun producing energy. In the future, it will be the center of a new energy source for the country. Strategic sectors. Amongst the stronger segments of the Angola economy, the oil sector still holds a highlighting place. The mining activity also presented important progresses, having recorded a growth high at 14% comparing to the last year. In civil construction and public works, the country has achieved expressive progresses that should gain major effect and intensity in the coming years. The rehabilitation of the country's infrastructures is the prime encouraging factor of this segment. Roads, bridges, schools, health centers, urban works have already been noticeable all over the provinces of the country. In 2002, agriculture had a great incentive and with the increasing return of the rural population to the areas of origin, agriculture will keep on growing in the next few years. Angola has still a more promising vocation for leisure tourism. Beaches, mountains, deserts, rivers, and forests. Nature's diversity and its culture as well turn the country into a privileged touristic destination. It's a segment that should receive great investments at mid and long terms, creating jobs and new business opportunities. In order to resume its path towards development, the country will have to rebuild hospitals, schools, bridges, industries, in short, a great part of its infrastructures. Besides its own resources, Angola will need foreign investments in this process. The country's natural resources, the government's economic refunds, and the determination of the Angolan people show clearly that these investments will produce great results in the near future. This is what we are going to see next. The economic starting off. With the country's specification, Angola is already moving towards national reconstruction and economic stability, and the national production starts growing again. The first results are encouraging. Through an IMF loan trade agreement, the government adopted deflation measures, which impact can be measured in the daily life of the country. In the last three years, inflation rate recorded a big fall. With this happening, there's more trade and productive activity more offer of goods and network of the banking services. In addition to betting on the economy, the government is also locating a major amount of resources to the social sector. In 2002, for the first time in years, the social destination of the state general budget exceeded the sum committed to the defense. A reflex of the peace times and return to normality of the ruling. On the other hand, the 
government is increasing its capacity of investment for fighting illegal trade that so much damaged the country's economy. In 2001, there was an increase of 76% in the fund's collection, a result of a new and strict administration of the customs office. The people and the culture. Angola is an extremely musical country. The great variety of rhythms and traditional dances can be found from north to south of the country. Samba is the most common rhythm and has given birth to great national artists. Amongst the younger people, other musical manifestations have now appeared, mixing traditional music with modern rhythms like rap, for example. Artwork, from modern paintings to traditional sculptures, are another feature. The Thinker, a sculpture of Chakwe origin, is considered to be the symbol of culture in Angola. As with music and sculpture, the country has a rich literary tradition. Natural beauty. It isn't a mere accident that Angola is beginning to be discovered by foreign tourists. The Serra da Leba, the Tundavala, the Namibi Desert, the Calandula Waterfalls, the Luanda and Bangela beaches, the Mayombi Forest. Angola's beautiful landscapes are extremely varied. They are enchanting to the eyes, making Angolas proud of them and their waking special interest of foreign visitors and investors. With these and the guarantee of free circulation, the way is now open to all those who want to work, to discover, to live the emotions of this country, which is one of the most beautiful of the African continent. At the moment, the flux of tourists is basically related to business. With its great economic potential, Angola is becoming one of the main places for investors worldwide. Within a few years from now, tourism will become one of the country's main economic activities. The coast, stretching from north to south, is a wonder in itself. Besides the coast, the countryside also offers places of great natural beauty, with vegetation ranging from savanna to forests. This is but a short summary of this nation. There's much more to see, read, listen to, and talk about. But to know more about this country, best thing is to visit it.